In this video, we're going to do some practice with limits. So I have three questions here. The first one says the limit as x goes to negative 1 of x squared minus 4x over x squared minus 3x minus 4. So the first thing we want to do when we check these things is to see if we get a 0 over 0 or a constant over some other constant. So let's plug negative 1 in here. So we're going to get negative 1 squared on the top, which is 1 minus 4 times negative 1. So this will be plus 4. So the top will be equal to 5 as we go towards negative 1. Uh, but the bottom, x squared minus 3x minus 4, well, negative 1 squared is 1. Minus 3 times negative 1 is going to be plus 3 minus 4. That's going to be 4 minus 4, which is 0. So this is going to tend to 5 over 0, which means here that we have a constant k over some 0. Therefore, this limit does not exist. Okay, second question. We want the limit as u goes to 2 of the square root of 4u plus 1 minus 3 over u minus 2. So I see the square root here, which means I probably want to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. So the conjugate, of course, is going to be the square root of 4u plus 1 plus 3, and then divided by the square root of 4u plus 1 plus 3. Now we can expand this. So this will be equal to the limit as u goes to 2. Okay, so on the top, uh, when we factor things out, we're going to end up with 4u plus 1 minus 9. Then on the bottom, we're going to be left with u minus 2 all multiplied by the square root of 4u plus 1 plus 3. Okay. So we can do some simplification up top, so let's actually do that in the previous step. So plus 1 minus 9, that's the same thing as 4u minus 8. And what I'll do too is I'll also factor out a 4 here. So we're going to take a 4 from 4u and a 4 from negative 8, and then we'll be left with 4 times u minus 2. Now what we can do is we can cancel out the u minus 2s on the top and bottom. So we're going to get the limit as u goes to 2 of 4 over the square root of 4u plus 1 plus 3. Now we can plug in u is equal to 2. So this will be 4 over, this will be the square root of 4 times 2, which is 8 plus 1, which is 9 plus 3. So this is just equal to 4 over 6, which is equal to 2 thirds. So the limit as u goes to 2 is going to be 2 thirds. All right, third question. The limit as t goes to 2 of t squared over 2 over, or t squared minus 2 over t cubed minus 3t plus 5 all squared. Um, this looks a little bit complicated to factor. Let's try plugging in 2 first to see if we get something over 0. Okay, so the top is going to be 2 squared, which is 4 minus 2, so that's 4 minus 2. The bottom, 2 cubed is 8 minus 3 times 2, that's minus 6, and plus 5, that's all squared. So that's going to be 2 over, we got 2 plus 5 on the bottom, so that's 7 squared. So our result is going to be 4 over 49. So it turns out we didn't have to do any algebra here. And the reason why I put this in this video is because sometimes it's actually just simple as plugging in the value. You forget all these really easy techniques, so you're always thinking, hey, maybe I have to do some weird algebra here to make this look nice and fix it, but always check the value first to see if it works. Anyways, that was limits. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.